Today's review is on the Nikon Coolpix S01 Ultra Compact Camera. Now this camera can shoot still pictures at a resolution of 10.1 megapixels and video at 720p HD. Now once you turn the camera on, what you'll see up front is the zoom lens. You'll also see the flash and on top of the camera is your on off button. You have your shutter, you have the zoom in zoom out toggles, you also have a dedicated button that switches between shooting and viewing what you've shot. You have got the touch enabled uh, viewfinder, you have a home button, on the side is your lanyard strap and down here behind this little door is your USB port to charge the device and to connect it to a PC. Another notable feature that's missing from this little camera is a tripod mount. We figure that Nikon felt nobody with a camera this small would be using it on a tripod. One of the biggest selling points of this camera is its compactness. And just to show you how compact this camera really is, I'm going to compare it to two commonly used devices. On your left, you can now see how it compares to a regular sized point and shoot camera. And on your right, you can see how it compares to a regular sized smartphone, which is approximately the size of an iPhone. Since almost everything on this little camera can be controlled via the touchscreen interface, the home screen feature is a very important one. You can activate the home screen by tapping on this little home button. And what you'll see there is that you have the option of switching between shooting still pictures and video and playing those back. You also have the option of changing a couple of the settings associated with either the still pictures or the video. It also gives you the option of setting the timer, changing the flash mode, changing the exposure compensation and adding a couple of special effects. The touchscreen is also really responsive and it's very easy to swipe through the videos and pictures that you shoot and it definitely will not leave smartphone users disappointed. Another unique feature about this little camera is the fact that you don't need an SD card for it. It has approximately 8 gigabytes of inbuilt memory and this should let you shoot approximately 3100 10 megapixel photographs or 30 minutes of 720p HD video. The camera's battery is also built in and can be charged via USB through a computer or can be plugged into the provided wall adapter. Our tests found that plugging the camera in and charging it from empty to full took approximately three hours and that would give you about an hour and a half of mixed usage time. Here are a few pictures we took with a little Nikon and as you can see the pictures are very clear, they're sharp and the colors are very natural. However, as with almost every other entry-level point-and-shoot, the performance in low-light conditions isn't all that great. What you're seeing is a 720p HD video sample we shot on the Nikon S01. And the quality isn't as sharp as a camcorder, but can be considered decent when compared to other point-and-shoots. If what you're looking for is an extremely compact camera that fits in your handbag or pocket, then the Nikon S01 is a really good buy. It has its battery and memory built in, it takes really good pictures, takes decent video and is very easy to use. The Amazon link to this camera is in the description below. Please support our channel by subscribing and thank you very much for watching.